That's our lion day, remember? I thought your dad was opening up. Yeah, he's just waiting for the papers outside. He's just told me that Megan's asked him to move back to hers. Oh, makes sense. He's always around there anyway. You okay with that? Yeah. So, why are you up so early? I just couldn't say it, that's all. I didn't want to disturb you. Oh, I quite like the sound of being disturbed. Still do, if you fancy coming back to bed. Ah, <clears throat> we're up now, aren't we? Might as well get on with the day. There's me thinking that you'd be doing everything you could to get out of going back to school. Yeah, believe me, it's the last place I want to be. So if you fancy ringing up, telling them I'm sick... It might not be as bad as you think. Are you trying to kid? It's going to be a nightmare. Look, Liv, what happened at the party? It might have all blown over by now and someone else is getting all the grief. Except I've got games first thing, so everyone's going to see what Gabby's written on my back. Right, all right, well then I'll, I'll, I'll write you notes to get you out of games. It's too late, Aaron. The whole school are already calling me a skank. We'll think of something. Ah. What? Was that Ellen? I thought you said it was Anna. Yeah, Anna that doesn't come off no matter how many times you scrub it. All right, show me it. Just forget it. It's bad enough as it is. Oh, hey. Just leave it here. I'll get Marlon to carry it into the kitchen. I didn't expect you to be working today. Anything to keep my mind off Ross. Yeah, how is he after we sprung Moses on him the other day? Not good. I wish there was something more I could do. How is he today? Your guess is as good as mine. You know what you need? You need backup. Seriously? Well, maybe not all of us, but... Deb, she'll go with him, won't you? Let him know that Moses will come round in time, I hope. Me? Well, it's OK. You don't have to. No, no. No, of, co of course I'll go with you. Junk. More junk. Non-invasive cosmetic surgery. Is there such a thing? <laughs> Crease-free chinos. Don't look like me, Dad. Junk. Junk. You OK? Just need a holiday. <laughs> Keep daydreaming about being anywhere but here. Well, there's nothing like a bit of winter sun to perk you up. Chance will be a fine thing. <laughs> Earth to David. Wife dropping not-so-subtle hint about winter holiday. Yeah? Yeah? Sounds nice. As long as it's not skiing. It scares me to death. Joking, aren't you? It's amazing. It's a real adrenaline rush. Yeah, with cliffs and drops and <sighs> Don't worry, I was thinking somewhere hot. Remote. No phone signal. <laughs> yeah, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Now listen, stick these on the calf's bill, would you? I've got to get back. I had a run on mochaccinos. It's the way that I make them, you know. <laughs> you okay? Do you know that hot and retail awards that I uh that I nominated myself for. Well, I've only gone and made the shortlist. Sorry, but that holiday's gonna have to wait. We need to be here. Hello? Kay, is that you? Hey, who's the... Get off. Ross. I thought you were still in hospital. You will obviously not. So you better get out of my way. So what are you doing sneaking around in there? I was just looking for the job book. Have you seen it? Kane had it, I think. Why? Just because, OK. But if you see Kane, tell him I want it. Do you want a picture or something? No. Well, I've seen worse. I, I mean... Back to school today. Yeah, I forgot something. Not just any of your business. Oh, my boiler's on the big car and said I could use the shower. Great. I'm guessing you don't want me to mention this. Do what you want, Alex. I don't really care. Look, I know that you're going through a lot and it feels like you're on your own, but you're not. 
In my mind, the only one that's been called a skunk, then. Then talk to Aaron. Just let him in. Who knows? Maybe it could help. Maybe no one can. That's just how it feels. I was the same when I was being bullied at school. What did you do? I made some bad choices. Then if I had a brother like Aaron, maybe things would have been different. Then again, I wasn't as lucky as you are. Yeah. No, hold on. This gentleman yeah. was before you. I'm honestly. sorry, I was not. Oh, no, please. I am going as fast as I can. Well, clearly not. But we'd all be drinking a brew by now. Look, oh, I've only got one pair of hands. We'll be over here, you know, when you've got the time. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So, not long till my birthday. You don't want to leave it till the last minute. It's already sorted. Thank you. No hints needed. Seriously? No. So, well, then, give us a clue. Yeah, or you could just wait for the surprise. Trust me, it'll add some spice into your life. Clue. I feel like I could do some rest. Feels like that's all I've been doing. I just. I get so tired and my head gets all fuzzy and... Well, is it any wonder with everything you've been through? You don't need to patronise me, I'm not the child here. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap it. It's just really loud in here. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, you OK? Yeah, she's fine. Come on. Let's... I'll walk you home. Yes, I know my credit history isn't great. What is this state the obvious day? Oh, just... Will you lend me some money or not? Right. Great, thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. <sighs> ah, Phil! To what do we owe this pleasure? Ah, I thought I'd better apologise in, in person. After missing the footy yesterday. Oh. David about? Oh, he's gone out. You just missed him. What? I <laughs> oh, fancy that. <coughs> Looking sharp. What's the occasion? Ah, just uh, smartening up my act, you know, in case. In case of what? In case we get a secret shopper. Business awards people are bound to send one. Anyway, what happened to you yesterday? I was worried. Ah, I'm so sorry, you know. <clears throat> Long story. <laughs> what, what business award was it? Hotel Retail Awards. David's been shortlisted. Ah, which means they are judging me at all times, so I want you two to be extra nice to the customers. I'm ah, sure you've got no worries there. Tracy's always so accommodated. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't do it without her. <laughs> <clears throat> well, before you two get a room, <laughs> how about uh, I take you out later for a pint? We're not doing it tonight, are we? No. Ah. More for you. I wouldn't let her out of my sight. <laughs> I'll give you a text. All right, see you later, Frank. <laughs> right, Frank, stop doing that. I want all the bottles on the middle shelf. Well, the hospital said you discharge yourself. Yeah, well, here I am. Oh, let me guess. You thought I'd done something stupid. I didn't know what to think. Should have thrown myself off a bridge, right? Made it a family hat trick. That's not funny. What are you doing here? As you brought me the job up. Are you for real? Well, you should be looking after yourself. The police are doing nothing and I need to find the bloke that did this. No, you need to leave it to them. No! I'm not going to stop until I find him. I'll shut the door, shall I? What the hell was all that about before? Just letting you know how easy it would be to drop you in it. I just magic a thousand pounds out of nowhere, can I? So why don't you just back off and give me some time? You don't tell me what to do. God, you make me sick, do you know that? Who do you think you are, trying to blackmail me? Because I can. <gasps> Except we both know. You haven't got the balls. Then, like, you never have. Well, maybe you're right. 
Or maybe you're not. What did you just do? Sorry, it took so long I sort of spilt the first ones. Seems I'm a lot clumsier these days than I used to be. It was an accident, that's all. That happens to us all. What is he doing awake? Thought he'd be asleep for ages. Yeah, well, it's not easy cutting teeth. But I'll take him out and get him some fresh air, see if that'll sell him. What can I say? I'm a grumpy cow these days. Some personality changes are normal, apparently, so welcome to the new me. What did you need to talk to me about? I, uh, spoke to the Undertakers. Mum and Grandad's ashes, they're ready to be collected. Thought we could think about what to do. Count our blessings, that's what. Somehow try and move on from this. Does that sound harsh? No, no, I feel the same. We survived, you and me. So let's both try and look ahead. Really make something of our lives. Make them proud. No. You don't need to explain, I understand. What? No! This this isn't mine! I swear! No, no, it's 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 just some sick it's a homemade porn clip that Phil just sent David. What? Honestly, I would never watch anything like this. It, it, it is awful. Degrading. I mean, what kind of woman would do something like that? Oh. She's got no self-respect. Maybe she had no choice. Or worse. Did you ever stop to think about that? No, I, th I, I think what David means... No, no, I know what David means. Only tarts would do that, yeah. Oh, no, what, what, no, Trace, wait, wait, wait. This video is far, far worse than the... than the one that you were in. Look, I'm going to delete it straight away. There, gone. Deleted. And I'm going to cancel that drink with Phil as well. I do not want to be associated with a bloke like that anymore. Um, I, I sort of bumped into Liv earlier. She made up some excuse about forgetting something. Yeah, she's just bunking off. There's no surprise there. I'm going to have the school on to me soon. I just I wish I could get her to open up. Every time I try, you get a door slammed in my face. Yeah, we've all been there. You're just thinking that no one cares and that the world's against us. That's the thing that I do care. Yeah, and she knows that. But she's a good kid. Just give her time to figure things out and she'll open up when she's ready. Are you sure you should be drinking that? I mean, what is it, second or third of the day? The hospital said you need to keep properly hydrated. I've only just got out. I'll we'll have to celebrate, Anna. Yeah, what if drinking affects the painkillers they've given you? Yeah, I have one of these. Suit yourself. But you don't have to put a front on for me. I always can't be easy to face. Poor choice of words, mate. But you need to look after yourself. If you get an infection... It could make things worse. Ruin my boyish looks. I'm just saying you need to be smart. Not mope about dwelling on it. And there he is. The reincarnation of Dad. Except this isn't some pukey bug from when we were kids, is it? So do me a favour, save me the lectures, yeah? I'm the one going through this, not you. I'll do it my way, thanks. Even if it means making it worse. Oh, have you seen this? Have you seen my face, Pete? Look! Look at me! Now go on, look! I was in the village for five minutes and all people did was gulp. Do you have any idea what that feels like? 
Do you? No. You don't. So mind your own business. Why are you going some wild goose chase trying to find out who did this to you? Got it in one. And what you have to decide is, are you going to stand there playing nurse? Or are you going to help me? So you can get yourself banged up? Somehow, I don't think so. At least we know where we both stand. But I swear to God, someone is going to suffer for this, Pete, with or without you! Well, I guess you've seen Alex then. Yeah, skip games, big deal. I actually came back to get my homework so I could go back to school. Well, if you'd have stuck around long enough this morning, like I said, I would have written you a note. You can't keep storming off like that, Liv. I'm trying to help. How about getting on my case? Is that what you think this is? Liv, I was at the party. I saw what Gabby did. I heard what she accused you of. Brilliant. I'm just saying, if you are trying to figure out who you are, you don't have to hide it from me. I'm not hiding anything, all right? Just leave it. Liv, please. I just want to help you. I've been saving this to get Megan a locket. Uh, Robbie on one side, Eliza on the other. You're a big old softy on the quiet, aren't you? To be honest, it's been burning a hole in my pocket, especially when I heard Zach going on about a dead cert. Zach hasn't really got the best track record. Exactly. So do me a favour. Keep this in the cash box for me, will you? A few more weeks. I should have enough. Don't want to blow it all now. Mm-hmm. There you go. You just tell me when you want it back. All right, there you go. How's that feel now? Better, yeah. It's just a shame that it won't get rid of it. Well, it'll fade. And then people will forget and it'll give you a chance to figure out what's really going on. I'm not gay, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I... I don't know what I am. But you do know that's okay, don't you? Maybe you chose the wrong girl, or maybe it's too soon to even know what you are, or how you feel. Well, why? Everyone at school seems to know. All I'm saying, Liv, is it's OK to be unsure. You don't have to rush to label yourself. No, I get it. And you don't have to be so defensive for either. That's why I didn't look how messed up that turned out. Yeah, but look at you now. You know exactly who you are and you've got one of the nicest guys you've ever met. All right, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. But you'll get there, wherever that is, with whoever. But you're my little sister, and I love you more than anything. So from now on, whatever you go through, I go through. It's you and me, and God help anyone that tries to come between them. Deal? Deal. All right, I'm gonna get showered. You're gonna make the tea. If, if someone told you that your birthday surprise would spice up your life, what would you think? Ooh, taking out for a curry. Hmm, that's what I'm worried about. I'm always the one that's suffering. Why had to get away? No, you don't have to explain yourself to me. I saw the mood he was in. Well, he's not listening to anything I say. All he's thinking about is finding out who did it. Do you really think they could be in that job book? I don't see how. What about that plan you and Ross had to get one back on Joe Tate? You don't think? No, Pete, that was, that was just, just sounding off, all right? He never, never went anywhere. Yeah, well, who did it? I swear, if I find out... Debs? Oh, it's, it's fine, Mum. It's just an accident.
I got David's message. If he didn't like that clip, then just imagine what he'd say if he saw the real deal. <laughs> you made your point, OK, I get it. Good. So then you'll see sense and give me what I want. I can't do this. I, I can't get the money. I told you it's too much. Oh, it's too much for my silence. Too much to save your marriage. Why are you being so horrible to me? What have I ever done to you? A lot from what I remember. So, maybe there's another way around it. What do you mean? Well, don't tell me it hasn't crossed your mind. <laughs> it's not like you haven't done it for money before, is it? One last trick for old times here. You're sick. <laughs> well, it's up to you. Let me know by tomorrow, or David gets the director's cut in its full glory. <sighs> from Emmerdale will be on this morning tomorrow from 10.30 to talk about the Rob Ron reuniting. Have you ever wanted to know what your kid gets up to when no one's looking? Join Jason Manford tonight at 8 as he asks, what would your kid do?